What's up guys, that really gross guy here, and we are jumping into a defense real quick. It's an alert, this gives like 80 endo or something like that. Um, oh, we have already started. Oh, we're in this map. Okay, this map isn't so bad. Interception on this on this tile set is, is kind of a pain. But, ah, eh, it's not so bad. I actually love this defense as Vauban. But, I don't know, because, because if you get his Bastille real good, you can basically cover all these doors. Not bad, not bad. But anyways, uh, here we are, defense. They've already pretty much completed a wave without me, so let's get in right right into it and let's be of some use. Let's throw that out there. Oh, hi. You guys spawned real close. Thank you. Anyways, I wanted to, number one, talk about a little bit of something I've been contemplating and it has to do with the dev stream and the war within maybe maybe supposedly it wasn't supposed to be in the same update as the war within but they have pushed the war within back just a little bit so I don't know I don't know maybe maybe anyways let's talk about <coughs> sorry about that let's talk about the war within and the well basically let's talk about the door in the Lisette which everyone is really like eager to find out what's going on there and I have a hunch based on the last dev stream Steve was mentioning how the enemies and the Tenno at least in the universe, are depicted as almost evil, like like warriors, mercenaries, almost just 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 on a path of destruction. And he almost said, like almost like a yin and yang, that he wanted to show like this yin and yang with with the warframes. And he mentioned that door almost in the same sentence, and. He wanted to say how how he wanted to show a a light side, more pure side to the Tenno. And I have I have a couple predictions as what might be going on there. Now, if that's the case, there's gotta be something there that is almost like like the Warframes are a guardian or a protector. So what I'm wondering, I'll go on the first, the first possible thing that I think might be back there, and this one I don't quite believe, even though there is a small, small hint at why it might be possible. But I thought maybe for some reason, now this is, you know, a little bit far-fetched, but maybe it's the Lotus. Maybe the Lotus could be back there. Now a lot of you are probably like, no, 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 no. Lotus isn't back there. Lotus is is somewhere. Where is she? You know what I mean? Like, like where where is she? Tell me. Tell me where she is. Maybe she's, uh, what is it? The Lisette leaves uh, like, a, like a central hub or something like that. It's not necessarily the relays, I don't believe, but there is kind of like a, I don't know. I don't want to say a headquarters, but something to that nature but but is the lotus there if if we're protecting something it very well could be the lotus and a little bit of a spoiler it doesn't really point to too much but in the second dream lotus came to our aid very quickly it, it appeared to be very quickly when we were in trouble. I won't go into details because if you haven't played the second dream yet, I don't want to spoil it because the second dream is fantastic. Um, but Lotus came to our aid very, very quickly unless there was like a time lapse that you could barely tell was there. Um, which, which is possible. I believe there was a point where the screen kind of faded and then suddenly the Lotus was there. Poss it's possible that time could have just lapsed, but it's also possible that Lotus wasn't too far 
from our reach. And is it possible the Lotus was back there? Now, I'm not too sure that's, that's it. The other thing I'm wondering and would be pretty... Uh, I don't want to say I don't want to say it's too far fetched, but it's kind of it kind of brings to question a little bit about what we know about Warframe, and you know DE likes to do that. They like to give us a bunch of information, or they like to give us some information and then force a lot more questions. But I'm wondering is is it possible that we're protecting another Tenno? Maybe someone that the Lotus holds dear. Is it Mirage? No, no. I mean, I'm, I'm playing through, if you guys don't know, I'm also playing through some of the Mirage quest, Mirage quest line right now. And I don't think it's Mirage, but it is possible that it's another Tenno. Maybe maybe someone that's held, like I said, very is very close to Lotus. Or maybe this Tenno was like the cause of the downfall of the Orican. Who knows? Maybe this, this Tenno could be like the answer to all our questions. I don't know. I don't know. Because obviously, you know, the Warframes are Warframes, but we haven't actually encountered other Tenno yet. We've encountered other Warframes, but not other Tenno. Um, but it's possible that at the War Within, we do, we do end up at some point outside of our Warframe because that's it's in the it's in the trailer. So, is it possible we encounter some some kind of Tenno or something like that while we're out and about? Maybe it's not maybe it's not the one we're protecting, but maybe it leads to well, it definitely going to lead to more questions. But maybe it leads to what's going on with that door and that door wasn't supposed to be opened with the war within but the war within like i said had been slightly delayed so it is possible it's possible that's that's a possibility i i i think i think we are protecting something that's my opinion based on uh what steve said i think we're protecting something um maybe not necessarily a someone maybe it's a tenno uh, it might be lotus i don't think so uh, the Lotus was able to walk around at one point, but because uh, we saw that in the second dream. But the, I'm also wondering, maybe this Tenno is very sick, is very ill, because you do see the infested stuff going on around there. It could be a Tenno or something, or maybe even a Warframe. Maybe, maybe it's Umbra Excalibur. Anyways, but it's. But it's in like a cryopod. I mean, for example, maybe it's something in a cryopod and we're protecting it. Maybe it's multiple cryopods. Maybe it's a room full of Tenno. Maybe it's a room full of uh, humans or some sort of entity that we feel like we need to protect. Maybe it's a room full of cephalons. I doubt it, <laughs> but you know what I mean? We're protecting something. I, I am pretty sure we're protecting something. We're, we're guardians to some degree, and something is in there, and we're we're tasked with, with making sure nothing happens to it. We may not even know. We may not even know we're protecting it. That might be why we can't even open the door yet. Maybe we find stuff out, and then it leads to maybe the Lotus unlocking that door, being like, all right, well, you know, because she hasn't been completely straight with us so far. It is possible that she's just like, all right, well, this is what, what you've been not allowed to see up until now. This is what's going on. This is why this door is locked. I don't know. Possibility. Possibility. I'm still... I mean, like I said, there's this, there's probably nothing we could even fathom right now. We probably have never seen whatever is going on behind that door, even in the slightest... Um, unless it's hinted at in one of these trailers, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I don't think we might find out in The War Within, but it originally was not scheduled to be in The War Within. But at the same time, they said that The War Within is 
they didn't want to split up into two parts. So that's why it hasn't been released yet. They said if they could have released it in two parts and it felt like if it felt smooth to do so, they would have done it. But they said that they they felt like it would have ruined the experience. I don't want to say ruined, but it would have hindered the experience if they had split it up into two parts. So I'm I'm wondering maybe they maybe they're putting it in there. They're at least, at least, I think it was Jeff. Jeff said that he believes... Was it Jeff? I don't know. Someone said... No, I think it was the sound guy that was there at the time. But he said it's it's going to be much better than even the second dream was. And maybe that was just the sound, but my game just crashed, and what the hell. But anyways, let me just finish this thought. Maybe, maybe it's taken him a long time. And crap, this is that's so frustrating. God damn it. But I lost my train of thought all because of that. But anyways, um it's a big one. It's a big deal that Second Dream is coming or not Second Dream, the uh, War Within is coming out. And it's going to I think it's gonna satisfy everyone who has been waiting all this time. Um I hope you guys enjoyed the whatever the hell just happened. Uh until next time, guys. God damn it!